Next, we'll focus on the third design for the Guardian front page. As you can see, this is the US uh, election special. So the layout is a little bit different and there are a few items missing from this cover. So we're going to cover some more techniques that are going to be a little bit more challenging. But first, let's start by adding the easy stuff, which will be the images in the placeholder frames. I'll head back to InDesign. So just taking a look at the upper right hand side, the images layer is unlocked. So we'll have access to those placeholder frames. I have turned on my grids and guides in normal editing mode to be able to see those placeholder frames. And then just double check that I click to the side of page three in here before I go to file and then choose place. The images we're going to pick on this occasion is US barcode, US cover, US flag, and US vote. Now on this occasion, I'm going to turn on a checkbox that reads show import options. And it really is only for that vector file. The .ai means that it's come from Adobe Illustrator and it's a vector graphic. So it's not made of pixels like the others. We'll go down to the bottom right hand side and click on open. This does, however, unfortunately mean that we have to be burdened with uh, not very interesting or informative dialog boxes for the JPEG. So I'll just click OK to that one and to the other one and to that one. But it's this one. Now, with this Illustrator graphic, we don't want a background to be visible. So turn on the checkbox for transparent background under the drop down menu for crop to we'll set that to art and then you can click OK. Again, we'll see that in the cursor, four images are loaded up. First of all, I'm going to hover over the uh, placeholder frame at the top right hand side to drop in the barcode. And then this is the uh, headline image of Biden. I'll head up to this placeholder frame underneath the title, the placeholder title of text, text, text sections and click in there. And then finally, I will hover over and click in to add the US voting symbol in there. So they are the easier ones. Uh, again, I'm going to hold down the shift key, shift and left click on all of the images that I've just placed in there. Go to the frame fitting options and click on fill frame proportionally just to make sure that we have them filling their frames accordingly and then click to the side of the page to deactivate. Next, we'll add in the copy. 